Hi everyone, welcome to today's video, uh, which is just going to be a flick through for White Dwarf, uh, issue 476. Uh, we do get a pullout section in this month's magazine, uh, which we will have a look at in a sec. Uh, but let's get into the magazine. So we've got great uh, Black Templar on the front. Um, inside we've got some Crusade rules for Falling to Chaos, rules update for Hedonites of Slanesh, new rules for Sentries and Kill Team, Galactic War Hosts Zealots, and four new fighters for Warcry. Okay, which is what these cards are. Right, so we got the introduction here by the managing editor, and then straight into the contents. So, um, yeah, Descent into Darkness, Security Breach, which is the Sentry's battle report, Death come, uh, death Becomes Them, Tome Celestial, Head and Ice of Slanesh, Blood and Terror, and here we get the information about the cards. So our card section this issue includes the four fighter cards from our Blood and Terror Warcry article. This means you can now field the Scriptum Mortis, Craven Huntmaster and Crave... Craven Throne Guard in your Night Haunt Warbands and the High Gladiatrix alongside your Daughters of Cain. Simply cut out the cards from the insert, admire their majesty for a moment, then get playing. So these are the cards. This is the back side of the card. Um, so you've got some great artwork here. Uh, not being a Warcry player, I wouldn't really know what these symbols indicate. But we have the four different cards. We have some ability, so Night Haunt leader abilities and Daughter of Cain leader abilities. And then we have these White Dwarf paint recipe cards so I'm assuming that you cut these out and you write what paints you're using when you're making your miniature the painting your miniatures uh, great idea uh, I've seen people use um, small notebooks and things like that for uh, printing out a photograph of their of a miniature and then just making notes with what their colour scheme is going to be. Contact! So, painted miniatures and letters from the readers. Uh, so an interesting green and black towel stealth suit team here. Um, great Tyranid colour scheme here, ice uh, kind of scheme. Uh, Marnius Kalgar and model of the month is Endrin Master. We delve into a Skaven sewer to look at this issue's model of the month by Jonathan DeVos. So, yeah, looks good. Some Necrons. Uh, this is a conversion. Uh, Dark Mechanicum Tech Priest. Uh, and this looks like a conversion using the uh, Canoptic Spider from the Necrons as well as a Tech Priest from the Adeptus Mechanicus. And some more minis. This is a nice uh, Orc diorama using these wolves. And then there's a short paint question here uh, and what they've done to paint these up in the cult of writhing shadow so worlds of warhammer delves into the background of age of sigma and 41st millennium looking at how stories are created and legends are born uh, this one looks to be about I'm seeing a lot of um, 
Space Marine stuff here. And yeah, we're looking at iconography in this issue. So Space Wolves, Imperial Fists, World Eaters. We've got some of the Eldari, some of the uh, tactical symbols that go on the shoulder pauldrons for Space Marines. Uh, some more uh, in icons here. Corn, Nurgle, Zinch, Slanesh. And then we have the 40,000 segment of the magazine. So this looks like a short story. Flashpoint Nackmund, The Lies We Believe. The Shorval 477th are embroiled in a bitter war with forces of chaos, outnumbered and outgunned. Only their faith keeps them in the fight. But can they hold out until much needed reinforcements join the battle? Uh, Descent into Darkness. Now, this is. This is again the Zealots and Faith articles. So, we've got some Chaos cultists there. Righteous Aftermaths. Yeah, so this looks like information on Chaos cultists. Uh, Imperial Zealots. Obviously, people like the uh, Sisters of Battle and Black Templars are quite zealous in their unwavering faith of the Emperor. Quick paint call out for painting this statuary and the Black Templar beside. And some more here. This is um, Tom O'Toole's take on the Fortress of Arrogance, which was Commissar Yarrick's uh, Bane Blade, I believe, during the Armageddon War. And a great converted knight there. Unseen Lurkers. Again, this is uh, seems to be another short story. Katachan jungle fighters this time. And then we have security breach using sentries in your kill team. Great artwork of the uh, Krieg guardsmen facing off against the Orc commandos. Critical operations sentries mission pack. So information about how to include sentries in your games and then we have some missions by the look of it secure approach advanced capture spike data core designated priorities secure supplies and initiate transmission operation briefing semi-regular column about rules tactics and gameplay of warhammer 40,000 kill team in this issue's installment rules master elliot hammer takes a closer look from behind cover at line of sight. So yeah, just exploring line of sight in your games. And then we're into Warhammer Age of Sigmar segment. Uh, some great miniatures painted here. So rules of engagement. This time Lewis Aguilar has escaped from his crypt to take a closer look at the Night Haunts new rules so these will go with the no doubt go with the cards the night horn cards that you get death becomes them in the mountainous lands of emetrica in the realm of light an ancient power is stirring thought long dead by the land's inhabitants the vampire lord Scar scaravos vein vain has returned to reclaim his kingdom from the clutches of 
the order mora so this is a battle report so we've got the dread host there and the order mora and then we're into the battle proper Several pages handed over to the battle report. Realm of Beasts. Gur is a realm red in tooth and claw. It's savage lands. Play host to countless daily struggles between predator and prey. To survive here, one must be in touch with the beast within, for only this can grant the strength to overcome the monsters without. Okay, so this looks good. Information on realmscapes. Uh, and again, great miniatures. Tome Celestial. Head of Knights of Slanesh. To face the Head of Knights of Slanesh is to be immersed in a twisted dream. These hosts of dark-hearted revelers, disciples of excess and demons born from vilest pits of mortals of the mortal soul seek only to satiate their fell urges through carnage. They are corruption and wickedness personified, grown stronger from each atrocity they commit. So, there you go. New rules for Head of Knights of Slanesh update. Clash of Egos. Amongst the followers of the Dark Gods, power is everything. The two warlords may pledge allegiance to the same deity. Both will vie for their god's attention and they may even come to blows on their path to glory. Such was the case in Tondia. So this is campaign rules for Age of Sigmar. And Host Resplendent, Army Gallery. Head of Knights of Slanesh. And these are really nice. I'm liking these. I mean, I don't play uh, Age of Sigmar or Warcry or anything like that, but I'm liking the um, the aesthetic here. And these two Shalaxi Hellbanes. Yeah, really, really good. So information on your cards here and what they can be used for. You then have some new rules and battlefields. So Hunt for the Soul, Handmaiden of Murder, uh, Spoils of Victory, and there you go. Necromunda next, Underdogs, new rules. So, uh, Data Purge, Assassinate, Desperate Raid. Within under Hives of Necromunda there are always going to be gangs at the bottom of the food chain. Some may have lost too many fights or territory disputes. Others may simply be unlucky, unfortunate or unfairly persecuted. These are the un underdogs. Oh, excuse me. So, yeah, interesting. One Ring to Rule Them All. Now, this was a really interesting art, um, article when they were talking about how to represent the miniatures in Middle Earth um, when they put the One Ring on and become invisible. Now, they've obviously used, I think what GW done, have done here is they've recast their miniatures here um, using a clear resin. Um, but obviously they haven't mentioned that in the article because you know how uh, touchy they get about recasting. Um, so obviously they're not going to tell you how they do it. But it's an interesting way of doing the article. I suppose another way would be to perhaps 
get a second miniature and do it in a different paint scheme to uh, give the suggestion that it has become uh, invisible. Uh, 100 Deceits, uh, Air of Reason, uh, Black Library, Novelization. So again, plenty of that story. And then inside the studio, looking at various works, etc. Done by the GW staff. We have obviously Hobby Bingo. This is interesting. <laughs> Why is this? As a death player, what better spell is there other than the purple sun of Sh uh, Shyish? I dry brushed it from Xerxes purple uh, to Gene Stealer purple over a black undercoat, adding a cyberite green and white scar for highlights. I used Tesseract Glow to pick out the face and made it spooky. This cool. Is this something we? I've not. Looked, I've not seen one of these before. Is this something that um, Lyle has made himself, or is it available? Somebody let me know. Uh, and then we've got some information about a um, escape room, forty um, k style. And two teams that did it. One took twenty seven minutes forty one seconds. The other one took forty three minutes twenty seven seconds. So yeah, interesting. And then the final two pages, and the next issue is out on June 17. So there you go, that was White Dwarf 476. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please join me in the next video. And until then, take care. All right, bye-bye.